Hi everyone, welcome to Kim and the Way Church's vlog. Today we're looking at number 96 of Essential Jesus, looking at the theme, Who is Jesus to You? Today's reading is found in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 19, verses 16 to 30. So if you haven't had a chance to read it, then you may want to just pause the video here and then come back. So this passage starts with a man asking Jesus a question. What good deed must I do to have eternal life? And so this young man, he's concerned about what would happen to him when he died. We read he, that he had everything he needed. We're told in the heading that he was a rich young man. He was young, had everything he needed in life, and he had his whole life ahead of him. But he was concerned about what would happen to him when he died. He thought it would be as simple as just doing a good deed or living a good life. Jesus responds and tells him that if he wants eternal life, he must keep the commandments. So the rich young man informs Jesus that he already does that. And he asks Jesus, what else must I do? And Jesus responds, telling him he must sell his possessions and follow him. And we read that the rich young man, he walks away from Jesus despondently because he had a great amount of possessions. The first job that I ever had was working at Tesco's. I worked with this manager one evening and, and he knew that I was a Christian. And we were talking about my belief in God and heaven and hell. And he said to me, he said this, see, I think I'd rather go to hell because I think I'd get on better with the people there. And my response to him was something like, that's not quite how it works. See, he had a completely wrong understanding of life, of Jesus, and what eternal life is. And this rich young man that we're reading about, he had a wrong understanding of who Jesus was and what Jesus was truly offering him. When he told him to sell his possessions and to come and follow him, Jesus told him to do that because this was all the rich young man wanted in life. It was, it was his whole life revolved around his wealth and his possessions. And he instead needed to come to that place where he was completely dependent on Jesus and everything that Jesus had to offer him. Jesus had called uh, the disciples earlier in Matthew chapter 4. We read that Jesus says to them in Matthew chapter 4 verse 19, Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. And we read that they all stopped what they were doing, gave up their livelihoods and immediately followed Jesus. And Jesus tells his disciples in this story of the rich young ruler what their reward shall be for following him, that they would have eternal life. And that's the joy that we as believers have to look forward to. Because we are followers of Jesus, because we've made that decision, we can look forward to an eternity in heaven with him. The writer of today's devotion, he tells us that this rich young man had two problems. Firstly, he thought he could earn eternal life through good works. And secondly, he couldn't give up what he needed to follow Jesus. And sadly, that there are people today in this world who believe that they can earn their way into heaven just by living a good life. But that's not the case. We each need to come to that place where we've decided to follow Jesus. And it's up to us as followers of Jesus to share that love, to share the invitation that Jesus gives to everyone today to be followers of him. Maybe you're watching this video today and you're not a follower of Jesus. Well, Jesus' invitation to the rich young man is the same to you today. Jesus says to you, come and follow me. We don't have to sell our possessions to follow Jesus. The rich young man's problem was that he was dependent on his wealth and many possessions and he needed to learn to become dependent on Jesus. And Jesus' invitation to you is come and follow me. Put aside everything else that you'll depend on in life and come and give your life to him. The writer of the devotion, he asks us to look at our own lives and see, is there anything that's preventing us following Jesus? 
We may be followers of Jesus already, but is there anything in our lives that are hindering us or holding us back? If so, what can we do to remove them? I'm just going to pray to close the blog today. But the writer of the devotion suggests, why not spend a few moments afterwards in prayer, talking to Jesus, imagining that he has asked you directly to follow him and consider how would you respond to that challenge. Jesus, we just thank you today that we can be completely dependent on you. Thank you, Lord, that you provide everything that we need in our lives. And we give you thanks for our relationship with you. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done for us. Thank you that you invite us to become followers of you. Amen.